Okay, it's mid-October 2019. Time to do some biking in the north of Ireland. So I do the Morn Coastal route, and then I'm gonna do the uh, Causeway Coastal route. So quick blast up the M1 from Dublin, uh, scoot the northeastern coast of the Republic because it's a bit dull. Uh, get round Newry, up in some mountains overlooking Newry, down to catch the ferry in Carlingford Lock, and then uh, carry on the Morn Coastal Highway up the east coast of Northern Ireland. And then uh, we'll cut in through Belfast and then go around the top of the Causeway Coastal Route and uh, get around to Derry, London Derry, whatever you like to call it. And uh, pushing up of the uh, Inisho and Polinsna uh, up to uh, Malinhead, which is the northernmost point of the island of Ireland. On that Causeway Coastal as well, we're dropping at Torhead. Um, well before that and then back down through the Sperrins, Omar and the Skellen, that ne neck of the woods and then back down on day three. Right, boring bit over, a little bit more of a boring bit and then we're away. Okay, onwards. So just across into Northern Ireland, there are some lovely houses nestled away up there. You see so much more coming off the beaten track, you know, don't you? Like, like I've never seen these before. Well, not, not this close, you know. I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, that's lovely, that, isn't it? Uh, and, and, you know, this is just me looking at a map, Brian, going, there's a nice road and there's a nice bit of water, let's go down there. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll find some fucking bodies down here, all right? Jeez, that central bit's fucking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this, this is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, this is what these bikes are made for. Yeah, up onto a nice bit of high ground. Well, you've got to watch that moss, there's enough slip in it. Yeah, that's a lovely house. Still in Northern Ireland, got to cross over. Back to the Republic for the ferry. Oh my god, my sat nav's fucking having a fucking heart failure here. Oh, right after the bridge to get to left, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, actually, it might be looking for me to fucking do a Yui. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we know why a thousand kilometer, thousand and fifty-seven kilometers is fucking. Uh, <laughs> it's seventeen hours driving. <laughs> oh, lovely. What? Ah, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Should be headed for Carlingford. The long way. <laughs> Look at this road. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you can grow vegetables in the middle. <laughs> Jeez, that sun's a bit strong in the eyes, though. <laughs> oh, beautiful road, beautiful view. Uh, cattle grid, quite slippy. It'd remind you a bit of sleeve, um, sleeve blue. Big potholes on the left. <laughs> oh. 
no dumping. So of course everybody fucking dumps here. What is it with people? Fucking hell. It's slow progress. So the trouble is one dump bag, once the animals get at it, it looks like someone's emptied a whole fucking bin truck, doesn't it? Oh, oh. Sharp, sharp bend. Oh, fuck me, for a minute I thought it was having me go up there. <laughs> oh, lovely, potholes on the bends. All right. TV mast, I believe. Yeah. The other one could be a mobile mast, couldn't it? Left here. Ah, uh, what a view, Brian. This has to be a photograph. Oh. Yeah, stick it in first gear and see if we can... Uh, oh, there's a... There's a... Oh, no one's going to come down this fucking road, are they? I'd say not many people get that view, Brian. Uh, hardly anybody comes up here, I reckon. Would you? I'd say hardly anybody comes up here and gets that view. Um, I'd only see, I'd say maybe the weekend. What? I'd say the weekend. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Walkers and, you know, all that type. Yeah. Like, if it's Friday. Yeah. If it's Saturday and Sunday now. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful. I think it is. The very tip of it. Yeah, come in for the lock, yeah. Oh, that's a lovely view. This reminds me a bit of that uh, Apple Crust Pass we did. You know, the big body of water at the bottom. All right. Oh, there is. Yeah. There's sheep up here as well. well I suppose there would be with the cattle grid and all that. Lovely. Rams with the old horns. See now, I think the other side there, that's Nuri. So, here we are in the Republic of Ireland. The other side of that water is Northern Ireland, which we dipped into back there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. Oh. Carlingford Lock, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, savage, that's the word. It's fantastic. You can see there's, there's their TV mast up there on the top. I know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to track down there then end up on the coast road. Oh, well, well, actually, we're going to track in and out the mountains a bit. Um, hopefully, we're going to go between those mountains, hopefully. I'm not exactly sure. But we'll end up at the tip and get the ferry across. Ooh, yeah. 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 
uh, to try not to engage gear without pulling the clutch in and launch yourself off the edge of this cliff. <laughs> it's a whole new meaning to the word let's off-road. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, yeah, not a route for the Gold Wing Owners Club, is it? <laughs> I tell you, this would be a great route for... Uh, we met a fella actually at the Carlingford Lock Ferry and he said he reckoned he had the first uh, Tenor A700 in Ireland and it was a fine looking machine yeah brand new 700cc twin quite cheap they look like your bike just a smaller version but not much smaller um, and yeah yeah and uh, he had he had metal panniers on it like that with no locks. So I says, what's the story with the panniers with no locks? He goes, oh, fucking hell, he says, he says, it's uh, uh, Yamaha. He says, they could do you the boxes without the locks. So I took the boxes waiting for the locks. But it was a fine looking machine. Uh, interestingly enough, his first bike, which he still has, is a Tenere, Super Tenere 1200 like yours. And do you know what he said? He said, I wouldn't get rid of the 1200 though. He says, this is grand for kicking around the mountains and stuff like that. He says, I'm not too sure I'd like to do a big long journey on it. Which was interesting, I thought. Right. Let's go through these uh, big hills or mountains. Lovely. God, we I think it's been raining. Yeah, it has been raining here. We've missed the rain. We're very lucky. This, again, this reminds me of that road that we uh, drove in Scotland that was parallel to the motorway. You know, up high, looking down on the motorway. Even though there's no motorway down there, so actually there's no comparison whatsoever, is there? <laughs> I was just about to say, I love less well-travelled roads and then a fucking car comes the other way. Trooper, he's a trooper. There's the ferry. Ferry's in, we might be lucky. But yeah, it's just come in. Woohoo! Cool. And the space. I'll just let this green car go. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, I don't think Matt's Brian. Yeah? I don't think it fucking matters. There's, there's room for another 50 cars in here. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't want you to get in front of me, Brian. <laughs> A quick 20 minutes later. Now. There's a toilet 
either end. So there's a stop. I just got the port cabins up there for a tinkle. Yeah, okay. Sterling country. <laughs> That'll be the north of Ireland. <laughs> Wee, off the ferry to the Jacks. Not the yellow one. Oh, oh. I say. I think I'll turn the camera off. That's very handy, Jax. What? Yeah, that's to save her the old cleaning, isn't it? Close two of them up. Right. What do I do with the gloves? <clears throat> oh, sh sugar. What do I do with my gloves? Ah, oh, hang on. That's why my jacket was open. Because I didn't want to put them in a bag. <laughs> all right, this must be all part of my master plan. Uh, left turn here, just checking out the other side of the road. <laughs> it's the Rosper way. <laughs> so this is the start of the Mourne Mountains. Oh God, it makes all the difference to the weather. Jeez, I'm getting a bit warm. It's up to 11 and a half degrees, Brian. <laughs> this is where we pulled over that time. We took some photographs. Yeah, yeah. That, that lake, yeah. It was, wasn't it? We did, we found a cafe, didn't we? Yeah, it's lovely. It does look like a dam. Look at the land behind it, much lower. No, it was misty, remember? That's very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> I, 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 I spot some large rain clouds ahead, Brian. <laughs> I spot some large rain clouds ahead. <laughs> it's very grey up there. This might be our afternoon rain. Uh, we got the gear for it anyway. Well, we just came through those. Morn Mountains, very nice. Now we should uh, shove on up here and uh, hit the coast. Well, we couldn't escape the rain forever, Brian. So we had to have a little bit of rain. But look. <laughs> There's something else falling off my bike. <laughs> Did it? Oh. Oh, we're well, wrong. So, according to that sign, this is the Morn Coastal Route, Edgewater. Oh, my neck doesn't fuck. Oh, lovely, yeah. Oh, lovely.
What's the name of this place again? Can you remember the name of this place? Some fucking sorry. Well, <laughs> I don't think that's its name, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the church on the corner, that's lovely. Oh, lovely view out of those houses during the summer. Well, that's a lovely view out all the time. Right, onwards and upwards. Little inlet, little harbour or something. Where's the inlet to the sea there? Oh, there. That's a lovely little harbour, isn't it? God, you'd think there'd be more pleasure boats there. Yeah. Oh, it must do. It must do. So close. It's... No, this has got... I've got this on me, Matt. So, Brian, you've gone the wrong way. <laughs> it's all right. I'll uh, see you. See you at the hotel. <laughs> but <laughs> suspiciously, the sat nav is <laughs> <It's laughs> suspiciously the sat nav's turning me right up here. <laughs> so we might have just done a U for a, a straight piece of road instead. You know, me and me. Uh, yeah, me and my navigation skills are just popping in again there. <laughs> oh, I'm useless. Yeah, like, why? Like, why is it taking us right now when we could have just... <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I wanted to go down this road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Oh, so it's got its hat on again. That looks quite Norman, doesn't it? And it's very nice. Oh yeah, they've built it round a. I uh, <laughs> wonder what there's Morn Coastal. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh yeah, it's. Kilcleaf Castle. Oh. Sorry, right. Kilcleaf Castle. Very nice, overlooking the water. Oh, I'll pull in there, just have a look. I'll pull in there, give us a second. This is a nice spot. Right, Strandford Lock, a bit further up. Excellent. So what's Kilcleaf? Kilcleaf Carship Castle, Bishop of Down. John Selly built this tall, four-floored, 15th-century tower house. It dates from before 1440. Okay. Oh, Selly was later ejected from the castle for living there with a married lettuce savage. What's a lettuce savage? <laughs> a lettuce savage, it says. Hmm. Imagine living in a castle, the way. Eh? Oh, this is a nice road. A bit of gravel on that bend. Right, Strangford.
ferry down here. Oh my god, don't say we've just come across the ferry at perfect timing. Do we have to buy a bleeding ticket? I'd say we can get one on board. Yeah. It looks quite similar to the last. Yeah. To the right there. Uh, yeah, I will. That. The side stand is not getting the bike over. Just more. Just rubbish. Just rubbish. <laughs> Cheap enough though, isn't it? Huh? Cheap enough. Cheap enough. If I'd known it was only five minutes, I just would have sat on it. <laughs> One of us had to go find money. Well, well yeah. Yeah, right then immediate left. Yeah. Wow, that uh, floor's slippy. The ground is slippy. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Tap. That's Porter Ferry, £3.50 was it for a single? Excellent. Five minute ferry. Okay, so we're carrying on the Morn Coastal route, then we get pushed in through Belfast. Well, that's what we just bypassed getting the ferry, all that, driving all the way around that. That's very nice. It's bloody pouring it down over there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're on the edge of it, we've just missed it. Back to the sea, Brian, back to the sea. I think I could, uh, <laughs> I think I just got an Eiffel there. Fine figure of a man. <laughs> Fine figure of a man. <laughs> We're still on the Morn Coastal route. So, those bunch of wind turbines over there, just across that water, are in Scotland then. You can just see Scotland, yeah. Lovely house. I wonder, is that derelict or what? Or was that a hotel? Oh God, it looks lovely. Oh, it's fantastic. I wonder what that is. Yeah, it looked like it was, well, it's probably some rich person's house a long time ago. It looks like it was a hotel that was been extended. God, that's lovely. I always think it's a shame when you see places like that. Thinking, well, what happened to it that it closed? I suppose cheap flights to Europe happened. Right. Well, the, mine, to get back on track, mine wants, and we're gonna have to go in the left at some stage anyway. Mine wants, mine wants to push us in the left in three and a half miles. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Do you want to head for the Ring Road Belfast instead of the town centre? Yeah, I reckon. 
<laughs> oh, famous last words, Brian. Right, I'm not on my back on my route yet, but uh, I'm I'm no, but I'm hoping it'll. Uh, yeah, we've got no choice. We've got to go through uh, Belfast. Yeah. Oh fucking hell, Brian! You're letting that Twingo overtake us. Newtonards. Oh, traffic looks a bit busy. Yeah, we might hit some traffic, as you say. No, 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 no. Oh, that's why. Yeah, it's the Belfast Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. I was just about to say further down here we're going to be hugging the water but uh, it's right there in front of us. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of, I should just be touching into it and back out again to get, to, to get down the coast road on the other side of the water. Stop looking at the bloody plane. <laughs> Wobbling all over the place like a fucking amateur. <laughs> That's lovely. Is it closes in a bit now? Six o'clock. Starts closing in and getting a bit dark already. So got a B and B down by the lamp. Ferry terminal actually. Although we're not getting on the ferry, continuing on north. But it's a handy B and B. Well recommended. So we're still on the Causeway coastal route. It doesn't hug the coast. Uh, it, it's kind of snippets of the coast really. But it's still a very pleasant route. It's, it's a change. Once you've done the Wild Atlantic Way and everything like that, you've got you to gotta do these. Gotta do this, gotta do it all. Okay, the North Antrim coast will be the most interesting, I think. So, coming into land. Um. Well, I've never been to land. So, we're down in the ferry area. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. Better breakfast, grill. We're laughing. 